All right, hey, hey, this Mega here. Uh, so I got here my uh, Type 53 Mosin they got here. My Chinese friend here, and uh, I'm having some problems with it. So, uh, so I got a bunch of dummy rounds here. Some of the mags. Um, first of all, let me just say something about this stock. Um, this stock is it's brilliant because because uh, you can use magazines with it. Um, one thing that sucks, if you got like a big old honking scope like this, like this telescope right here I got on here, um, it, you cannot load this, well you, I mean you could load it, you could load it one at a time, you could put it from the top, you know, that's usually how I do it at the range anyways, but uh, but um, yeah, you, you, you lose the function of putting stripper clips, uh, using stripper clips to, to quickly load your rifle, um, whereas, uh, with the magazine, this guy here. The magazine, it just uh, just goes in the bottom like that. See, pretty cool. So uh, that's one thing I'd like to say about it. And this thing is clear. I'm sure it's clear. I have no live rounds around me, as you can see. But um, oh, oh my God, it's it's kind of heavy. It's kind of a beast. It's gotta be, because it shoots these bad boys. Anyway, these are dummy rounds. No, uh, no primers. I bought these off of eBay. Just to try uh, practicing. Uh, it's for checking to see if the action works, how good it works. Um, so I got two problems with this rifle. Other than that, it's a dream to shoot. Um, the main problem is this. Number one problem, and I don't know why it um, it started developing this problem. I probably shot like a hundred and it hundred hundred rounds, and it never had a problem after that. And I don't know, something must have gotten loose or or worn out where it doesn't work. But this is the problem I got. Oops. So I'll just hold it here. Or how about this? Let's put it on the ground. Okay. So. Got the mag in there, there's no rounds. I'm gonna charge it. And pull the trigger. And no bang. No bang. But put this on the tripod. If I pull the trigger. See? Nothing. No bang. Pull the trigger and I push up on the, the caulking ring here. <sighs> okay, now it's not even doing that. Yeah, this, this is horrible. It doesn't shoot at all. There you go. Again. No bang. Oh, it's even worse now. Jeez. Yeah, you gotta pull up on it just to get it to shoot. But uh but the problem is is this. There's not enough uh there's not enough room and yeah, if you're wondering why there's not enough room to let the um let the firing pin go or like to let the sear engage. Um so that's a common problem I've heard with this. So uh Try to address that problem today. So uh, I tried to fix it with the with the trigger spring kit, and it seems to have made it worse. <laughs> so I have I bought that little kit where you put a spring uh, on the trigger, and and then you put a um, a washer or a spacer on the on the leaf spring, and um, it seems to have made it worse. Like before, it would be it would be that loose. Right, there would be that much trigger play. Boop, 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 and I thought it would help. And now I got the trigger spring, it takes all that out, you know. It's pretty nice, though. So, uh, I'm gonna, the last resort, before, I, I really didn't want to modify the stock, but uh, what I have to do is I'm gonna have to get a Dremel and Dremel this here. Just take out material from the back until I get enough play, uh, I get, until I get enough clearance where it'll go back and... He'll fire the rifle. 
So uh, yeah, that's one of the problems with this stock. Another problem I'm having is this. Okay, I got a bunch of dummy rounds here. I got my five round mag. Okay, there's our problem. It, it Sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. Let me, let me get a lot. See that round in there? It's not stripping it off of the mag. And it does this, for some reason it only does it sometimes. I, I bet you, but uh, yeah, see it's not stripping it, it's not doing anything. Well, still no bang, but there we go. So now, it loads the round. But every so often, it'll do that. So I'm sure, uh, I'm sure it'll be fine now. Once you get that first one in there, it seems to be fine the rest of the time. It's so fun, it's so fun racking bolts in there. Right, racking bullets in there. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. But what the, there's uh, something, some problem that people, the problem is, uh, is this guy here. As you can see, this little guy here is not, um, it doesn't go down far enough or something else. That's what they say, so you gotta grind the stock. So you gotta do a lot of grinding on this thing. Well, if I put it in lightly, it won't do it. Oh, there you go. So you can see it. See the little tab? Yeah, see? It doesn't go far enough. It kind of pushes the round to the side and it won't engage it. Every so often they'll do that. There we go. If I if I look if I target once, I'll do it. Okay, not bad. Let's try a third round. All right, round three. There it is, loaded again. I don't know. Maybe you have the bolt has to be open or something. But it'll probably do it this time. Let's see, I'm gonna try to just slam it up in there. Yeah. See, nothing. Oh, there we go. It's not seated all the way. Yeah, I noticed um, the magwell isn't very well uh, thing. Let's see, the first one will go. If I pull it out the way back, it might do it. No, it doesn't. See, but maybe I have to charge it once. Maybe it'll do it. There we go. But that's I mean, that's kind of annoying. So maybe, uh, maybe what I have to do is I have to, um, maybe I gotta, maybe I gotta charge it once. It's three. Four, but yeah, every so often, uh, it'll do that. It'll get stuck. Like, the rounds will not go up from the magazine. And, you know, the feeding mechanism is fine and everything. So we'll try fourth time. I'll try a bolt close. I'll try bolt close and I'll try to cycle it once before. That seems to be maybe the problem. Also, I've noticed that the 10 rounder, this is the 5 rounder, the 10 rounder seems to do it more often than the 5. But. Okay, so it's in there, I heard it click. Oh, there we go. But yeah, every so often it'll the rounds will not go up like it does before. So I'm gonna try to fix that by grinding that tab, the, the area where that tab is, the little magazine tab, this guy here. Try to grind underneath it. I mean, while I'm grinding the stock with the Dremel, I might as well do a little bit on that and. Uh, and then we'll see if we can get this working. So out for here, for, out for now. Okay, so I've gone ahead and uh, um, marked off where I'm going to grind with the um, permanent marker. Trying to see. I'm right, just going to attack that with the grinder a little bit, and then uh, trigger. I marked off where the trigger touches, 
for now. It may touch more later, but uh, I'm just gonna grind all that. Well, not the whole the whole trigger, not just that where the black part is, but that's where I'm gonna focus on. So, yep, get her done. I want a functioning, uh, well, 100% functioning rifle. All right. <laughs> So uh, I've gone and done the modifications. So let me just show you what I went and did. All well, the grinding, anyway. Oh, there it goes. So I've got. I've grinded that the part underneath it. I don't know if it made any difference. Also, I don't think it had that problem before. But I kind of figured out a trick doing it. But I, I, I got it pretty good. Where everybody says to grind it, you know. Underneath that little tang. Um, okay, and I've oh, done the trigger. So uh, I took quite a bit of the trigger out. A lot. So if you, if you can imagine, it was this thick before, right? And now it's that thick. So it's almost all gone. Uh, it's crazy. So yeah, I, I went with a... I used a really coarse uh, cartridge roll to go to grind through it. And then, uh, and then I was like, oh man, I'm almost, I almost have no trigger guard anymore. So, and then I just said, uh, I'm just going to grind the part where the trigger touches in the center. So instead of doing the whole trigger guard, I just did the center part. And, uh, and it seems like, uh, like I got it. So I've tested it quite a few times already. Uh, and I will show you. But, uh, yeah, it goes back just enough. Uh, I think, uh, because I put that return spring in... Um, sometimes the bolt just comes right out, and that's no fun, because uh, if you're shooting and the bolt comes out, it's going to whap you in the eye. <laughs> Not good. But let's do a little test. Right, I'm going to do it with the gun on the side. So here we got, I had a, a 10 rounder with, uh, looks like three rounds in it, for dummy rounds, and two rounds. Uh, it'd probably be a good idea if I put the bolt in. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not going to work too well without the bolt. Okay. Bolt's in there. So, what I've kind of noticed is that uh, sometimes the first round won't come out if the chamber's open. Let's see if it does it. Yeah, so it didn't go up. Oh, oh it did. If I pull it back a little, oh no, it didn't go in. There we go. So there we go. First one's in there. Bang. Watch out, the round's gonna go flying. Ah. Okay, it wasn't designed to shoot on its side like that. I don't know how to wear our safety glasses for this. I'll just pull them out slowly. So there you go, there's the first mag. It seemed to work fine. Here's the next one, and see if there's no dice. So what I realized, when it does this, sometimes it does it, I'm not 100% sure why not. The first round won't come out, but then, then after the first one comes up, it's fine, it's still doing the same thing. So, nope. so what I gotta do is, I gotta actually cycle, go through the full cycle, then the round will go up. Boom. Goes bang every time. Let's do that one more time. Okay. Well, another uh, another simple way to fix this it would be to just uh, remember to keep the the bolt closed like this when you load the mags like this. So if it goes in like that, the first round will always go up. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Like, you can just pull the mags out. I don't think this release lever works too well. But at least the mags aren't so loose that they'll just come out, you know. So, see? Didn't come up. Did not come up. It's not grabbing the round. So, I gotta go through the full cycle. I actually charge the bolt. Then it'll come up. Bring it in. So, it's just something I'm just gonna have to learn when using this rifle. Because... 
you didn't have a magazine before, so, you know, it's totally new. Oh, yeah, I haven't been... But, but yeah, it's been going bang every time. So, we'll just, we just dry fire it a bunch of times. So, there we go. Uh, let's test the trigger out. Works with 20 rounds. hard to do with it between my thighs. Ah. Boom. All right. Awesome. Works good now. Uh, okay, so there you go. I have solved the problems with my buddy here. My Chinese buddy, Type 53 here. So it's all good to go now. For, so I just got to remember, hey, uh, if the first round ain't coming up, I have to go through the full cycle, actually bring, charge the bolt, or, um, yeah, uh, or or make sure that the bolt is closed so I, it's I'm forced to actually go through the full cycle to load the next round. But uh, I don't know. For some reason, I've I've made this habit where I'll I'll um, I'll keep the bolt open and uh, and then ride it ride it home after I put the rounds in. And I, I know it's not normally normally the, I wouldn't have to mess around with the magazine because the, the the magazine is in there most of the time. You know, it's just to load it from the top, not from the bottom. So um, so yeah. Uh, and it goes bang every time, so that's a that's a good thing. <laughs> Hades will make it out. Uh, we'll just have to see what this uh, what this uh, bad boy can do with the range. It was shooting pretty good when it was working, so uh, yeah, give it another try. Hades will make it out.